Okay, welcome to a distance rate time problem. Now, these have a way of setting up that can work for all of them. Okay, so here's the question. Bill and Jane covered a total of 36 kilometers. Jane ran while Bill went on a bike. If Bill could go 13 kilometer an hour, kilometers an hour faster than Jane, and each went for two hours, how fast does each travel? Now, here is the main formula. Distance equals rate times time, or D equals RT. Over here, I have another way of writing this, D equals RT, that I learned. It's sort of a magic triangle. If you put your finger over the letter you're trying to solve for, it gives you the answer. So if I want to find D, it equals R times T. If I wanted to find R, it equals D divided by T. If I wanted to find T, it equals D divided by R. So the other two formulas that you may be involved with is finding R, and that's distance divided by time, or finding time, which is distance divided by R. Okay, so I've set these up, and let's fill in what we know on this rate here. Um, I know that Bill was 13 kilometers faster than Jane, so I'm going to do J plus 13 and J for Jane's rate. I know that each took two hours. Now the way this table is set up with is the question will always allow you to fill in two of the three rows. The third row gets filled in using one of these three formulas. Now here it says distance is rate times time, so I do rate times time, and that gives me 2j. Rate times time, and because there's two terms there, I've got to use brackets. So I've now filled in the third row. So the third row can always be filled in with one of these three formulas. Now I try to translate the sentence. Jane's distance, which is translated as 2j, plus Bill's distance, which is translated as 2j plus 13, is 36. So now I have my full translation. So the first step in any sort of equation is using the rainbow rule to get rid of those numbers in the brackets. So I get 2j plus 2j plus 26 equal 36. And take the 26 to the other side. 2j plus 2j is 36 minus 26. 4j is equal to 10. Divide both sides by 4. And out pops your answer for j. Okay. So j is 2.5, and since it's a rate, it'll be kilometers per hour, since we're dealing in hours here. Now I can go up and immediately read off from there, go right back up there, and find Bill's rate is j plus 13. Okay, so I can say j plus 13 is 2.5 plus 13, is 15.5 uh, kilometers per hour. So my final answer, Regis, is Jane went 2.5 kilometers per hour and Bill went 15.5 kilometers per hour. Okay, and now as with all of ours, we will do a check here. Um, they both went for two hours. So, Jane went at 2.5 kilometers 
an hour, so that meant she went 5 kilometers. Bill went at 15.5, that meant he went 31 kilometers. Altogether, 36 kilometers, which is what it was supposed to equal. So we can give ourselves a happy face. So with any distance rate time problem, I always set them up using this little table and these formulas. And uh, this little triangle formula, I really used a lot when I went through school. And all that happens is see, the words up here are going to give you, uh, the words of the problem are going to give you two of those rows using the formula. You can figure out the third row. 